All right, here's a comment from Beck Be Broken Beekeeping on my thoughts on uh, apartment station ground. It says, why not connect the, to the utility ground via the ground terminal of the closest wall outlet? Well, if you are in an apartment, you're going to find that it may be quite a ways to the box where the actual ground rod is located. Also, if you're in a situation where you're in a home like mine, the ground rod for the utilities out front, the ground rod for the stations right out here. Okay, so the two grounds actually float, but they're tied together by a thick wire that goes from this ground to the utility ground so that they are, quote, bonded. Now, the reason for that is because there is one place where it is bonded and uh, the, that the bonding ends up, that's the utility ground. So if you use your wall outlet ground for a station or something, you have the possibility of creating a ground loop, and that's not a good idea. Your power supply probably has a three-wire plug, and so that makes the grounding for the power supply. The rest of the equipment is uh, usually isolated from that. You will operate it isolated unless you make a ground for it, and that should be grounded with the other. If you run into problems such as RF in the shack, try a counterpoise type artificial ground. You can get those from DX Engineering or HRO. MFJ makes them and I, I don't have any kind of status on whether they have any in stock. But an artificial ground, you'll have to change it for each band. But it can give your radio something to work against and it will be a great thing. It can really improve your signal. Till we next meet, 73.